Okay guys, hi, welcome back to episode 3 of my uh, series of subsistence. Now, if you've been watching my series, the last time I left you, I had been savaged by a ninja bear that snuck up um, on me in the middle of the night whilst I was huddling around the uh, fireplace. So I don't know what's happened, I think now I've come back in, it's actually gone back to my last autosave, which leads me to think <laughs> that there is a bear out there in the darkness. I wanted to pause straight away because I can only assume that that's what's happened. So you guys know as much as I do and I suspect that uh, I'm in big trouble and you're probably going to see me die again. So here we go. Just going to unpause and see what happens. I will get my gun out and um, think what can I do now? I don't even think I'm not hearing anything and I'm not seeing anything and I just simply don't know how this is going to play out whether it's going to be completely random and whether this bear is going to make its way to me naturally anyway on its pathing but let's see how much wood I've got. See I've not even got oh yeah I do! Can I make Let's see if I can ride out my luck. Uh, I need planks and I need cordage, so... Planks, planks, planks. You have to forgive me, I'm a little bit taken aback by this uh, turn of events. Ah, not enough. Wishful thinking. And what can I do with this cordage? I can make one of those. Yeah still not going to cut it to get even a foundation down. Now this is some of the feedback I got so just to let you know what I'm doing. Some people said oh get yourself a wooden foundation down and that will protect you a little bit. So I totally understand. I just don't think I'm gonna have the resources to do that. Yeah that's all my crafting done other than that. So no. I can but hope if I crouch down and see what the evening does. It might just be that um, I will pause and explain what happened a little bit later, but uh, no, we'll see what happens. I figured this, this evening's going to pass reasonably quickly and there's not much else I can actually do. I do have a bow, so let's just hope my luck stays as it is. I did craft some arrows, so I have three arrows. Great. I don't have any other resources now, I don't think, to even... Oh, hang on a minute. So nails, sticks and feathers. So I've got a few more. Let's see what that gives me. So that's just crafting away. Oh look, the sun's coming up. Oh, so happy. So technically I survived my second night. <laughs> not through uh, talent and certainly not through playing the game properly. Uh, just not really... So you go see game saved down here. That's all it did is it automatically went back to my last auto save as opposed to me doing the right thing, which I didn't know at the time, and uh, respawning somewhere else. So uh, happy days. I don't actually have to come and find this corpse. So this is good. And hopefully with all your wonderful advice, I will try and get myself more positioned to protect myself from any wild animals. So it's snowing by the looks of that, yeah, lovely. Let's get back closer to my fire. Don't think it's warm enough yet for me to wander too far. But what I want to do is hit up that tree, the nice big six log tree. And then I must get looting. I really do need some resources. I need some fruit and veg. I need to start thinking about getting some, let's have a look. Yeah, some protein. Oh yeah, hunger is borderline here, so. We'll see how we do. Okay, see if I can wander away whether it hit me with the cold. Yeah, still too early. Let's not uh, get into trouble getting too cold right now, seeing as I'm already suffering with the fact that I've not eaten very well. And uh, yeah, just sit here, let that sun come up. Come on, sun. There it comes up over there. I have to say this game is so beautiful. It really is. I mean, I know you guys are watching it and I'm trying to record it in the highest quality I can. It just depends on how it converts to YouTube and of course what f sort of way you're watching it at home. But uh, 
yeah, actually in the game, on high resolution, it, it's just amazing. Truly loving this. Right, I think that's probably enough time for me to move away and not get cold. Excellent. Let's get my axe out. Hope that there isn't any creatures around here that's going to want to eat me right now. Oh, no, I'm getting a little bit cold. But you know what? Let's just get on with it. So my mission, go around and look for crates, get some more cordage, get some more medicinal plant and try and get some chickens and rabbits and maybe even a, a wolf to eat or one that I can actually harvest and eat. I've already managed to kill one wolf, just obviously didn't get to eat it. Looks like we've got some nice uh, stuff around me to pick up. Oh, I'm still cold. Let's just get warmed up again. Yeah, I don't really want to be up here. Obviously you can see the snow on Maxi Mountain. It's it's not a good place to be. I happen to know that the cougars will start spawning around here once I get a BCU up. So yeah, I don't really want to be in this area. I want to move further down into the valley. Although that scares me because most of my deaths have happened further down there. But what can a girl do? I've got to do what the game needs me to do. And that basically get out of here. It's quite nice and open. But I can't be doing with the cold and the cougars. So let's take a wander off and see what's about. Oh, my fumble fingers. Yeah, it's trying to get used to all of these buttons and how you move around. Now, if I. Oh, I'm still shivering. Let's get down out of here where it's a bit warmer. So we'll follow this path and see what's about. Now if you haven't played this game, I'm sure some of you have, some and some of you haven't, it's taken me ages to realise that you just need to press the uh, shift button once. Oh, there's a fo uh, fox. Yeah, I wish it was a fox, a wolf. Uh, you just press, press the shift once and it engages the running. And then as soon as you stop moving or walking, it comes out of that and uh, you have to just press it again. Oh, I thought that was something I could pick up. Now, did I see something? I did. Look, there's a crate down there. I'm scanning the area, and I'm sure you guys are doing that too whilst you're watching, for any wolves and bears. Whilst this is all happening, there's loads of noises in my earphones of sticks cracking and snapping like something's standing behind me. It really does make it full immersion. It just sends the hairs up on, the, on my arms. Just really, really creepy. Oh! Look, it's a bear. Let's go the opposite direction. Yes, I think that's a really good idea. Let's go this way. I suppose I should head up some more wood as well. I really desperately want to keep an eye on today. Keep an eye on the time. Make sure I get a deck down. Make sure I can get myself a little bit more secure. Oh, more tree there. Come on, a bit more. Okay. Any more? Nope, that's it. Let's go to the next one. Now, I know this isn't the most exciting thing to watch, someone hitting a tree and collecting logs. Unfortunately, it is all part of the game. Uh, so, uh, yeah, sorry guys, just got to do it. Once I've got enough logs, I'll stop and see if I can find somewhere to set myself up a bit. But let's head over here. I know that the bear was just down there to the uh, right-hand side, so without getting into too much trouble, let's head over here and see what we can see. So let's have a little stop. A little scan around. Yeah, it's just so barren. Oh, there is water down there. That's probably my my death lake. That's probably the one that I'm rotting in at the moment. Or well, one of my bodies is rotting. And so I think I'm going to just head over here. Let's try and get away from the area I've been in the last couple of days. I really do want to find a different spot. And look at this. Another crate. Oh, hallelujah. If I can get some more bullets loaded up, I'll be really happy. So let's have a look. If I now come out of here and reload my gun. So at the moment it's got five bullets. Let's do a reload. I got six bullets. You know what? That's better than five bullets. It's not as good as seven bullets. But I'll go with it. Now what is that? Is that a... It's a bunny. Hi bunny. Yeah, I'm not after you bunny. I'm after this. For the moment this is what I want. And... Oh. It's a bit of a mixed bag. What's this? Got some planks. Okay. Wasn't expecting that in that one, but look at this. Bear, wolf, me going this way. 
So I've seen that to have ended up back in the trees. Oh, oh, look, look, look. This is definitely what I want. Hi, bunny. Yeah, he's still safe. I want some of this. And there's a bit more up here. And I want some of this. And I'll probably just head back round here. Ah, <gasps> great! It's taking a while for me to actually focus in on all of the things that you need in this game. And they do say that. The other people that I watch, Game Edge, Ono, Emma, they all say it takes a little bit of playing before you start recognising the crates and the fibre and all those bits and pieces. They become really obvious after a bit of time. But uh, I still haven't quite got there yet. Although, it's improving. Okay, so it's still morning. Mid-morning. So, uh, I'm okay. I just don't want to do what I always do. And it gets dark and I end up dying. So, let's run over here. Oh, look, another crate. I'm having a bit more luck this time. Oh, this is so much better. I suppose you get different days and different um, loot spawns and... Yeah just happens to be it's taken me this long. <laughs> I thought, oh, I've got toilet roll. <laughs> no, it's a bad ditch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, it doesn't give us toilet roll. <sighs> Although, that probably might be handy, to, depending on how many animals chase after you. Sorry, that's my toilet humour. Uh, some more stuff to pick up. Love it, love it. Mine, no. Oh, that's mine. This is a nice little area. Uh, let's have a look around. So, Maxi Mountain. There's the other peak over there. There's some more stuff to pick up over here. Oh, I'm close to that fence again. I seem to just gravitate towards the fence. Yeah, let's head on down into this valley. And look, another crate. This is incredible. I'm so happy. Just don't want to die and lose it all now. Right, what are we going to get this time? Oh, yummy. Lots of nails. So we're doing really well here. If I can get some more more logs to get some more... In fact, I can do some of this now. Let's try and multitask the wooden planks. Yeah, no, we definitely need to be getting some more trees hit. Let's... Uh, oh, let's do that first. And... Hit the tree! So I was really grateful. Uh, a lot of you responded very kindly and uh, you know, thanks me for producing my first few videos. I, I really, really do appreciate that. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm grateful because this is a newbie view of uh, how to play this game. Uh, but I wanted to try it. I wanted to show it um, warts and all, as I said in some of my comments. I don't want to be editing it to show, oh, you know, this is easy and oh, I didn't die. And, you know, it's... Um, I don't know what everyone's talking about. This is a hard game, but that is part of the charm. I think any game where it truly challenges you and makes you have to think hard about the decisions that you're making is a good game, as far as I'm concerned. This of oh, there I am chatting away. Oh, I want that. Watch me just ruin this all. Let's sneak up to this crate. Oh. Oh. Just, yeah, keep going that way. Keep going that way. I want this. Sorry, I was chatting away and thinking all was good. And you know what? I really did have to concentrate. But he's over there, so I'm going to go this way. Let's come out of crouch and run. Yeah, sorry, going back to my jibber-jabber. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm grateful that you're here for the journey. I want you to see what it's like. I want you to see how uh, building the place... How it, how it works and how it can all go wrong, <laughs> which it has quite a bit. But I'm hoping today is going to be a little bit better. So let's grab a bit more of this. And right, I am going to just stop here for a moment. There is a bear over there. Um, and a sneaky rabbit. Oh, I wonder. How easy is this? got my first bunny. Please don't squeak. Please don't squeak. Oh, I killed it outright. Oh my god, I have bunny. This is good. Okay. Let's make sure there's no sneak attack coming around the corner. No. First time I fired my bow. Bunny number one. 
Hi, dead bunny. Oh, that's quite sad. But I am hungry, so sorry. Oh my god, I'm really hungry. Oh, I don't want to eat it raw. No, let's let's just do this a bit differently. I've been quite lucky. So, and actually looking at this, is this where... I think this is where Ono might have built. I don't really want to copy him. Uh, or build somewhere, sorry, where he's built. So let's just have a little look over here. And maybe start considering to build something, even if it's just temporary. Give myself a bit of a base. Hmm. Ooh. Whilst I'm thinking about it, let's head over here and get another cra- Oh! There. Gosh! If you look off into the distance, I think that is actually another crate. Can't believe my luck. So I really do want to get a base down and get a crate down. A chest down, sorry. And uh, start protecting myself with all this lovely loot that I'm getting. So I might just... Oops, excuse me. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Just turned it into a plus 13. <laughs> yeah. Okay, another bunny. Another bunny. He's gone away. Ugh. Let's go this way. Oh, for goodness sake, where are they all coming from? Oh my god! Yeah, I am gonna go up here. <laughs> yeah, like this has ever helped me. Whoa! I wasn't expecting to be pointy rock. Let's balance on the top and have a quick look. And I'm going to, while I can, go into here and I'm going to create a foundation. I can, look at this, one foundation. Yeah, that's all I could create. Must get some more wood and some more cordage. Oh, no, I've got cordage. Oh, I've got fibre. So if I scroll to here and there we go. I've got one match for tonight when I get my campfire going. Ooh. Well, I'm quite impressed. My archery skills seem to be working here. Pick it up. Nom nom nom. Now that's not really a place to build there, so let me just have another look round. Oh, bunny. I'm annihilating the small creatures in the area. You know what? Ah, oh, food for my tummy. do not want to die without getting a base down. <sighs> yeah, feel the tension. I'm just going to put it here, you know what? <laughs> no, I'm not. There's a bear. I don't believe it's just... Just got to pick a spot. Let's go up here. Oh, do you know what? It's that fence. I'm sure you're all screaming at me going, no, don't go that way. Just there's animals. I don't like the animals. They eat me. You know what? This is quite interesting. Let's, let's have a look at... Can I get up on here? I can. What would be like to build from here? That's different. Definitely different. Yeah, I might try. Okay, so we've got one of these pieces. Mm. Let's move myself around. Ta-da! View over the plains. All the animals. I can see Maxi Mountain. What can I see behind me? <laughs> a rock. I'll maybe do some stairs around this, make it a bit of a feature. Build out a little bit across there. Well, somehow I feel a little bit safer. Don't know why. Oh, cool. Jump on it. Yeah, it's stable. 
It's not going to snap off. Probably looks a bit weird if I look up from it. But uh, yeah. What I also might do now is see if I can do myself a fire. Campfire. I need some more of those. So sticks. Need two sticks. Just because I'm flatlining as far as food goes. And uh, yeah. Not a good idea to do that. Let's get the fire on. I was quite successful getting a load of stuff. Look at my inventory. There's a fair bit going on in there. Uh, I've got an apple I'll eat in a minute, but what I really want to do is... Oh, was that enough? not enough sticks? What's going on there? Am I going a bit mad? Nice sticks, isn't it? Yeah, sticks. Oh, I must have done something wrong there. I'll watch it back and see what happens. Okay, maybe that'll do the trick. Oh no! Okay, now I've run out of wood. Oh, you, you couldn't make it up, could you? All right, let's come out of here. Oh look, handy trees. I'll have a little bit of this tree. So yeah, again, I'm hoping you're enjoying this. It's less run around, I suppose, than last time. It was a little bit manic me trying to escape all the animals but uh, now I think we're going to get into crafting a little bit and uh, being able to get myself a bit more stable and then I could really get out and about and start exploring and uh, start expanding so that's the fun part that's what I'm really looking forward to but these first few days oh my god really have uh, really have been a struggle and uh, don't get me wrong I like difficult games but uh, I wasn't expecting the first two episodes to be ending with death and loss of everything. So, uh, fingers crossed, we'll survive a day and we can continue on. Okay, there's one more tree. I'll get back to my little deck. I don't like that I'm so close to this fence, but you know what? I don't feel like I've been given much choice and I don't want to lose everything again because then it'll just feel like it's a pointless series of me just dying every single episode. So let me just wander down here now. So I've got a natural sort of stone ramp. Up we go. And a tab. Right, let's try that again. It's a campfire. Thank you very much. My next trick will be where I put the campfire down. I suppose you can move it afterwards. I think it is one of the things that can be moved. I'll put it maybe on the stone behind me. Oh! Oh, why didn't you tell me? I have two! <laughs> I see what happened! I've been an absolute idiot. Oh, well there you go. I have two. Well, it does mean that I have a spare, just in case I want to go off somewhere and it gets cold. So I think what I might do... That's funny how you could put it down the side there. It looks a little bit odd. If I put it... doesn't seem right on that angle but yeah let's just put it down okay so let's go into that fire and put some fuel in oh this does mean I'm using my match <gasps> oh I'll have to keep this alight so I can survive the night or before I do anything how do I do the fire starting kit so I do actually have one of those I can go find some more fibre and I can make some sticks. Okay, so if I remember, I have to go out and get some fibre desperately so I can have another fire starting kit. But let's put the uh, matches in and ignite. Cool. So let's butcher my bunny and butcher that bunny and get these cooked. I have chicken as well. You know what, I'm going to need all of this. Yummy yummy. Okay, so let's have a look. I have anything else I can do while I'm here? Whilst I'm watching my food. Oh, I can't do anything with the guns and bits and pieces. I need to go get some more fibre. Oh, how am I doing for drink? Mm, not so great. But maybe that's the other thing I'll have to do once I've actually fed myself. Is to have a drink of my water and go find a lake fill that back up so I can bring it back tonight 
and cook that so that I've got some more water. So all these things you've got to think about in advance, it's just crazy. Fuel bricks are made with tons of fibre as well, so yeah, fibre really is an important mission I'm going to have to go on. So rabbit, medium to medium low grade rabbit, very low quality. Mm. And chicken, what's this one say? Medium low grade as well. Just wait for these to turn. So whilst that's still happening, so there's loads of other things I can make. Ah, storage chest, that would be handy. So I've got to make a few more planks. So I've got to get some more wood. And if I make another plank, I can at least get a chest done. Okay, uh, we can do that. Oh, oh, look, yummy, yummy. So that's cooked. Let's take these off. Now, I don't really want to put it out, but I kind of should. So that's why I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, that felt so wrong, but I have to conserve my uh, fuel. So let's go back in and eat. If I needed this. So let's have a look. Oh, look, we're out of the red zone. I can eat my apple. So that's coming up. I can even eat my berries. Let's just eat all of them. Okay, so, mission. Still says I have arrows, which surprises me. So I need wood, I need fibre, and uh, that's the mission, guys. Oh, you know what? That's not the mission. What I want to do is be extra safe. I want to, to do another piece of plank so that I can then do a storage crate. Oh, there it is, storage crates. Once that one additional plank is in, I'll be able to do a storage crate. Craft that. That way I can maybe keep some of this safe. But if I do die, at least I've got it here. That makes sense, doesn't it? <gasps> look, 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 look over to the left. There's a crate. <gasps> There's two crates. Oh my god. I think um, a certain creator must have seen my cries in the last couple of episodes. <laughs> and he's... Uh oh. Did one just vanish? No, no, there is two there. Oh, don't die, don't die. Let's, let's go over. Oh my god. Cold games, I love you. Oh, heavens above. Matches! <laughs> oh, oh, so, so lucky. And... Bullets. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Okay, so, so I don't make the same newbie mistake. I'm gonna get my gun out, reload it. Now I've got all the bullets in my chamber. I'm gonna get that chest. Oh, uh, yeah, where is that gonna go? It's not really anywhere that's good. I suppose I will do a little. Uh, yeah. It's exciting viewing, isn't it? Where to put my. It's like. like a decorating program. Very, very, very boring. Oh, you know what? It's just gonna have to. Uh, go here. Haha! -ha, my first crate! Lots of firsts today! So, let's go in here. And I'm gonna put all my uh, my goodies. Um, keep the bullets on me, just in case. I don't need to keep that on me. That's already cordage. Eh, I'll keep my bullet stuff here as well. What's that? Kelp. Ooh. Oh, I forgot I had kelp. I mean, that may as well live here as well. I put the sort of foodie stuff down the bottom and the medicine stuff. Let's do that. Bullet stuff there. I need the water on me. Feathers. Can I make more arrows? The day is disappearing. I do appreciate this, guys. Um, arrows. I need more s sticks and more nails. So I've got to bring that back. You know what? I'm procrastinating here. Let's... Oh, bandage, that'd be helpful. Oh, and I can take that spare thing for there. 
Okay, so I need wood, I need fibre. Let's go! So I need to remember where I have put myself. So Maxi Mountain's over there. If I run down into this middle bit and I'll look back to see how evident I am. Because I've not put the BCU up yet, so my luck is I'm actually going to lose my home and all my stuff and not find it again. So if we turn around and have a look, if it's not for all the bushes, yeah, I think that's fairly obvious there. So as long as I stand with Maxi Mountain behind me, I'm up there. Okay. Let's get going again. Another chicken. Uh. Hee <laughs> I'm doing alright with this. I'm feeling a bit better about it all. Hi, Mr. Chicken. Okay. Let's hit some of these trees. There's a bear over there. You know what? No, that sun is really going down. Uh, I'm not going to risk being caught out. I think, as exciting as it is, I can't bear to die again. <laughs> not not another episode. I'm going to survive at least one. Although I can pick up this stuff while I see it, just quickly. Before it gets too dark. Let me see anything else around here before I go huddle myself up onto my uh, on my safety deck up oh Ooh. oh he saw me I'm not going to waste an arrow I've not got enough to waste so let's go get these trees Still struggling with getting this run shift right, but I'll get there. So yeah, let me know how you how you think of this episode or what you think of this episode. I know it wasn't quite as uh, full of thrills and spills as previous ones. Although again, am I literally counting my chickens? And uh, I'm going to get pounced on again. So who knows? I think I've hit all those trees. So I'll get these ones just down here. And I think I will go camp myself up on my rock. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, look at the sun going down and the colours. And it's just... It really does have the attention to detail on this. It's just, just so gorgeous. Now, do I push my luck? Any more trees? I could do that one down there. I don't see any animals. There's a bit of scrap over there as well. I think this is the danger part, certainly watching uh, some of my favourite YouTubers. Uh, you just keep seeing stuff and think, oh, I'll just, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I'll just get that. I'll just get that. And then kapow. I, I thought I saw scrap. Oh, is it already gone? <gasps> it's getting dark. Really not liking this anymore. There's my deck up there. Yep, yeah, there it is. Come on! Glow stick! Not that it really helps that much, but let's get up here, get my fire going. Yeah, <sighs> She's home! Yay! Right, come on fire. Oh, can I not have this glow stick in my hand for this? Why can I not access my fire? getting a bit panicky. Right, so ignition, ignite. <sighs> Let's make sure I'm up here because I think being on the deck helps you a little bit. So whilst I'm perched here I am going to go back into here and I'm going to get my chicken. Oh he's still alive! Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, my belly's far too hungry to worry about you. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. Okay, yummy chicken. Let's put that back up there. So the conclusion for today is, uh, yeah, 
I survived. <laughs> I've got my deck down, I've got a fire, I've got some chicken cooking. Now I know what happened last time I started doing this and saying it all went really well. Suddenly a bear appeared, but you know what, we're just going to have my chicken. We're going to go look at the, uh, the view that we've got. I'm going to just have a quick look through my inventory and uh, yeah, that'll be it for today's episode. Not quite sure how long we've run to be honest. I did have a timer going and it subsequently uh, switched itself off. But I suppose a day cycle runs about half an hour, give or take. So uh, not too bad. Got a few berries, I'm not going to worry with that. Oh, let's go back into my fire and just make sure I don't actually burn my chicken. Oh, I can take that the ashes out shortly. I've still got three quarters of my fuel in there, so that should see me through the night. Still got two arrows. So yeah, I haven't wasted any of my arrows. Every single one that I fired has actually uh, hit an animal, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think I've got my targeting down okay. And I think on my first day, if I'd even had the bullets in my gun, only having had one when you first start up, I still had six in my inventory. If I'd actually loaded my gun, I think I would have survived that first wolf. But uh, no, it went downhill and <laughs> I realised I had an empty gun. Oh, there we go. Let's take my chicken out of there and have a quick eat of that. So you know what? It's not great, but you know what? It's not terrible either. I don't think my water is bad enough for me to drink just yet. I might do that in the morning. That probably is the best plan. So how's that going? So I might put some fuel in to top that up. So it took five logs and just oh I can reach my chest from here as well have a look how we're doing so I picked up a couple more feathers from my chicken so actually if I put that back in there and if I make a few more sticks mm, four go back into here to arrows oh I've got to put nails over okay that's fine Let's see how many I can make. So craft, craft, yeah. Oh well. I think that's four. Do you get two at a time? So if I've got two now, if I end up with... That means that you get two arrows per craft. It's one thing I have been curious about. So let's just wait for that to finish up. And uh, yes. So for the two nails, two sticks and one feather, you get two arrows. So that's a bit better than I originally thought. I was thinking that you only got one and that seemed a little bit off balance. Um, if I do another stick, I don't want to completely run out of wood, but arrows are good. One more, I think. One more stick. Back into here and once that stick arrives... Am I doing this wrong again? There's a stick. Do I need another stick? Is it... Ugh, two sticks. Oh dear. I'll start remembering this, guys, honest. Another stick. Back to here. Arrows. And... Craft. There we go. Cool. So I've ended the night. Or I've... Sorry, I'm in the evening and I'm going to wake up in the morning with eight arrows, a reasonably full belly, um, some decent stuff in a chest. I've got a deck down. I'm warm. And uh, yeah, I feel a little bit better about it all. And uh, we'll begin to see how the adventure progresses. So uh, yeah, thank you guys. It's been wonderful. Let me just uh, come out of the tab. And yeah, you can't really see much other than the beautiful sky. So yeah, I think our spot here is quite good. A bit unconventional. I don't really, I've not really seen anyone build on a rock quite like this, but I've got a natural little runway brings me up. Oh, look at these oars. These oars would be so great if I actually had the ability to to get them. Uh, but I'll look at that tomorrow, I think. I think for now, I'm going to look at Maxi Mountain off in the distance. The beautiful stars in the sky. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this with a smile. I'm alive. So thank you, guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me on episode three. 
I hope that you continue to enjoy and continue to watch. I will certainly continue to provide contents. I want to keep playing this game, see how it goes, continue enjoying it. So thanks everybody. And um, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. I'd be very, very grateful if you do so. If this is your first time tuning in and watching me and uh, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and press the little bell and it will give you a, an indication on when another video has been produced. And uh, take care of yourselves and see you again in episode four. Goodbye.